Today news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Today is the 18th of uh, June at uh, 2022. So guys, we keep on following uh, Yema ZEP permits as Zimbabwe exemption permits. And uh, yes, uh, there's a, a foundation uh, which has challenged uh, the home affairs, the South African government regarding to uh, those permits which are expiring at the end of December and uh, yes, uh, so uh, the executive director of the Helen Suzman Foundation says they have received alarming threatening responses to their announcement that the foundation is challenging home affairs minister Aaron Mutualeli's decision to terminate uh, the Zimbabwean exemption permit ZEP Nicole Fritz told News24 on Friday that attempts to intimidate and harass us is alarming and scary. The foundation had already filed court papers. Fritz, who also raised the issue of threats on her Twitter account, said the responses they have received pointed to how frightening it must be to be a migrant in South Africa at this point in time. The ZEP, which ended on 31 December 2021, will not be extended. Those with a permit if a 12 month grace period to either apply for another type of permit or leave the country, cabinet supported Mutualeli's decision. HSF said in a statement that it is not the position of HSF that those migrants who are in South Africa unlawfully should be entitled to remain, nor even that the ZEP must continue in perpetuity. Rather, our position is that those who have scrupulously observed South Africa's laws in order to live and work here under the ZAP cannot have such permits terminated without fair process, good reason, and meaningful opportunity to regularize their status. It is what our constitution order demands. In November 2021, cabinet made the decision not to renew the ZEP. It raised the ire of Zimbabweans and right groups who approached the court on an urgent basis. They were, however, unsuccessful. On Friday, Fritz said, We at the Helen Suzman Foundation, we totally understand the anger and the frustration and the pain. The very many South Africans who feel they are at the sharp end of the employment crisis and poverty. She emphasized that the 178,000 Zimbabwean exemption permit holders had been in the country lawfully and they've been observing the laws of the country. They also have families and had built their lives in the country for over a decade. Fritz also said the idea that they could migrate to another visa system was an illusory option. It isn't available to the vast majority of Zimbabweans exception permit holders she said and so that's the latest here is uh, this uh, foundation is challenging Aaron Mswaledi uh, who is the home affairs minister of South Africa regarding to my permits are going to expire in December uh, 2022 at the same time uh, she is receiving I mean the foundation is receiving threats from uh, group there are so many groups who are actually against uh, migrants are saying that all foreigners uh, should go back uh, to their countries including uh, that group Operation Tudula South Africa. And so guys, cut it in the comment section. Uh, this is uh, daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Yes, a cabinet, a guy's decision, and uh, you could team a payment as a renewal and and one uh, year grace period, which means that this year up to December is a year whereby uh, most Zimbabweans are now sending their goods back home. We have successfully applied for other permits, but others uh, they don't qualify for those permits because part of my requirements are one and so we're going to keep you guys in the loop here on this channel. And it is some people may say that uh, Zimbabwe needs to go back to Zimbabwe and register to vote and also vote so that Nikainake, I think what I'm big, I think what the mosquito, Shungo, Maro Paranu, and it's a true news. Why should we? Keep on doing that, you know. It's not an option. You can go Zimbabwe, you can go You know, some are saying, you know what? It's not going to South Africa because even if you vote in Zimbabwe, a panachino will change. Is 
chazo dzoka ku Zimbabwe kana zvinzvanaka ande I don't know kuti uh, pazvunaka pa anenge azogadzirisa ndiyani iso so tiri kunze kwenyika ande this is what other people are saying saka mune munhu ane muone rake you know views and options and yes and now we move i ram it is what it is we're going to keep you guys in the loop regarding this uh, application writer and uh, we'll quote uh and we hope they will succeed because there are so many groups who have already challenged uh the home affairs minister but uh all those applications have been dismissed and uh, so we hope this one will um succeed that it is most requires so consoles chemo as you look for women zimbabweans are south africa who are based i mean these people have been in south africa uh since 2008 2009 it's more than uh you know 10 years and most of them have already built uh, their lives in south africa bango wasina uh you know tarisiro yekudzoka ku zimbabwe sawada wadaramba vari ku south africa you know mune munhu anoita zvinenge zvimukodzera and so guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv you gonna keep you guys in the loop pakati ka any new info here remember to like share comment and turn on the notification bell bless up